So if you are trading on the forex market, what you want to pay attention to is mainly on your market chart and your analysis. And before you want to do that is you want to make sure that you have already, you know, written down what you want from that trade entries okay you want to make sure that you have jot down you know the amount of lot size and you know the amount you are willing to take for that particular trade right so let's say you have a hundred dollar account and you want to place a trade and you want to make sure that you make profit for that trade and before you do that make sure that you plan the trade you plan the amount of profit you want to make at the end of that day from that trade so these are the steps you need to follow to have a profitable trade when you're trading on the forest market now for example you have a hundred dollar account the first thing you want to make sure to do is calculate the amount of loss size you want to use from that trade because the amount of loss size will determine the amount of profit and losses you make from that trade then the second step you want to do for that particular trade is to plan the strategy you want to use for that trade number one is to calculate the amount of loss size you want to use for that trade the second step is to plan the strategy you want to use for that trade okay Every trading needs a strategy. Is it that you are scalping the market? Is it that you are sniping the market? Or you are just taking advantage of small price movement from the market and that's the same as scalping? Or you are holding the market. This is whereby, you know, you place a trade and you wait for a particular amount of time before you exit your trade. So wherever the market is, you take your trade like that. So if you place a trade for a buy and you wait for about few hours and you come back to that trade and the trade end up selling, you have already lost that trade. So this is how you trade on the forest market. What you do is to, you know, place your trade and always monitor your trade. Okay. I don't like buying a trade or holding a trade, then assume that the trade is going on my way. No, you don't want to trade like that because you end up having a losing trade so that's not how you trade now remember the first step i just mentioned on the trade is calculate the amount of loss size you want to use because it will determine the amount of profits and loss you get from that trade then the second step is to plan the strategy you want to use for that particular trade okay you plan the strategy the strategy is your number one key is the very key you use to make profit from that trade now how do you plan your strategy you write the strategy you want to use if you want to scalp the market if you want to scalp the market all you do is to scalp the market waiting for a good entry and exit points before you scalp the market taking advantage of small price movement from the market then the third step you want to follow is to you know the, uh, the indicators which are the tools you want to use to you know trade that particular trade which you want right you use the indicators like Indicators like the moving average, the RSI, the MACD, the market facilitation index, and the other type of indicators like, you know, the stochastic oscillator and, you know, the money flow index. These are indicators that can help you have a winning trade on the market, okay? So, these are what you need to do. You calculate your loss size, then you plan your strategy, right? Then the indicators you want to use from that trade. Then your emotion is another key, okay? You might be in a trade and you expect the trade to go in your favor and after you have placed the trade, You'll be surprised that the, the market isn't going the way you planned and you end up losing that trade and before you know it you started having emotions of that trade and you want to you know make back those losses you have made from that trade and that is what you know make most traders you know end up losing their trade i've been there many times on the market whereby you know i place a trade i end up losing the trade and what i will do is just go back into the market increase my loss size trying to make back those losses that i made on the market and that's not how you want to trade okay you end up losing more trades all right you end up losing more trade on the market if you continue like that so what you should do is to calm down take a deep breath then you know sip some water then after you take some water then you plan your next strategy what you should keep in mind is that whenever you're trading there's always going to be loss on your trade so all your trade cannot be a winning trade all the time there's going to be losses on your trade there's going to be one two three losses on your trade Okay, but with a good strategy, good analysis, good calculations, you can have a good trade whenever you're trading on the forex market. Okay, so I'll be the app you, you know, when you're trading on your chart. All right, so remember, number one key is to, you know, calculate the amount of loss size you want to use, plan your strategy. Okay, plan your strategy and your analysis and keep your emotion in check. So if you have a $100 account, you might want to risk about 20% of that particular capital you are for that trade entry remember hundred dollar let's say you want to trade you want to turn that hundred dollar into 150 dollars okay if you want to use your loss size probably you want to use a loss size of 0 0.5 or if you want to use a loss size of one before you start that trade okay you calculate the amount of loss size the amount of profit 
for each entries you cannot enter into multiple trades okay you cannot enter into multiple trade what you should do is to enter that trade each trade entries so that you'll be able to monitor that trade so just imagine that you open into five trades and you want to make profit for the market how are you going to do that when you're switching from one trade to another trade to another trade how are you going to focus on the first trade into another trade so you can't do that right you can't focus on one trade then you switch immediately to another trade and you think that you can just make profit from all those trade entry no you can't do that you end up losing your trade okay you end up losing one trade to another trade and that will result in you know blowing up your account i've been there and i know guys you know some of my friends that have also been there as well okay so what you want to do is to plan a particular market trade if you want to trade the euro market what you do is stick to that particular trade then after you made profit on that trade then you can go to another trade and open a trade for that as well now with this strategy that i'll just share with you guys i hope you have a winning trade on the market just like when i begin to trade on the forex market probably about three years ago you know when i started trading on the forex market and also synthetic indices trading okay what i'll do is just follow the the, the trade okay i follow the trade pattern just so that i can make profit from the market but that is not how it works okay as a beginner trader what i did back then on the market is when i see a a, a buying like a bullish pattern when the market is buying from one candle tick to another candle tick you know i'll be happy i'll say wow this market is buying right now so what i want to do is to place a buy on the market and that is not how you should be doing okay so what i'll do is to you know i'll place a buy after the candle tick i've counted what i'll do is to is to exit now what i'll do is to place a buy after that candle tick has counted i'll place another buy then what i'll do is to go back into you know the wallet section whereby i will see the um the, the 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 profit counting so i'll just be looking at the profit counting without even studying the chart okay you know most beginner traders fall into this trap you place your buy and what you do is just go back to your wallet section looking at the the profit counting counting and you'll be happy at, yeah you're winning the trade no you don't want to do that okay you end up blowing up your account i've blown my account multiple times more than 20 times i've blown my account so you don't want to be doing that you know trading going back to your your balance looking at the the profit is counting no you don't want to do that and even professional traders do that right now professional traders do that you know they they place a trade then go back to you know the charts the place a trade then go back to to the wallet section just to see the the profits counting okay then they will be happy that they have a winning trade no the first thing you want to do is to focus on the market focus set your focus on the market chart okay draw your trend lines properly use your indicators to see where the market is going next price movements where it should be and where it will be okay so these are the things you need to follow when you're trading on the forest market so i hope this helps you guys okay so i'm gonna be doing you know more sit down videos just to share you guys up and you know give you tips and strategies on how you can trade the forest market successfully all right so if you found value in this particular video do where to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel the daily forex i'll see you guys on the next video Peace.